This question is asking us to perform a two-column proof to prove that triangle DEF is similar to triangle GEH. And the first thing that I do is set up uh, my two columns. The first column is always going to read the statement, and then the second column is going to be the reason. And the first statement is going to be what we're given here. It says that angle F and angle FHG are supplementary. And the reason uh, we know that is because it was given. That one's the, the easy one. Okay, the second one is when it starts to get tricky. We have to take our statement here and kind of build on it. Um, and because we know that angle F, which is going to be this angle here, and FHG, which is going to be FHG, it's going to be right here, because we know those are supplementary, we also know something else about this situation. And that is that that this line right here, GH, is going to be parallel to this line down here, DF. Because um, I'm going to run this line across there. That, that green one is going to be parallel with this green one right here. And this blue one is going to be called a transversal. So if you recall that ge uh, geometric situation where you have like angles 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 5, 6, 7, 8. And we had like angles 1 and 5 are corresponding, which means they're congruent. And then uh, you have uh, angle 2 and 3 are vertical angles, and those are congruent, like that whole situation. That's what we use here. So because that we know that the um, same side interior angles, uh, which would be in this case 3 and 5, because those are similar, I'm sorry, supplementary, we know that G, H, and uh, D, F are going to be parallel. So I go ahead and write that down in my statement column. Now we have to write the given, and it's like, well, how do you know that G, H, and uh, D, F are parallel? Well, that's because we had this statement right here. Because these two angles are supplementary, we know that these two lines are going to be parallel. Okay, now let me get rid of all this stuff clear things up and see what else uh, we can see in our situation here. Remember, we want to prove that um, D, E, F, that triangle, is going to be congruent to the smaller triangle, which is uh, G, E, H, right? Now let's go back to that other situation. Remember, um, G, H, and D, F were parallel. So if I pull up those parallel lines with the transversal, maybe I could find some corresponding angles that are um, going to be congruent. So my green lines are the parallel lines. My blue one's going to be my transversal. And we want to figure out, are there any angles here that are going to be the same? But if you look closely here, we have an angle right there. That's going to be an angle in our smaller triangle, right? And uh, it looks like that that corresponding angle is going to be right here. And that's going to be an angle in our bigger triangle. And this red one and this red one, these are going to be corresponding angles, which means that they're going to be congruent. So let me get rid of uh, lines here. right? And I could see that I have this triangle right there. And then the bigger one. Okay. And we have two angles that are matching up that are congruent. So that's good. We could give that statement here. And that's going to be that EHG is congruent with HFD. And then the reason why they were congruent is because uh, we we're calling them uh, corresponding. And whenever I have those uh, parallel lines with the transversal, corresponding angles are going to be congruent all the time. So I've got one angle. Um, I don't have any other sides, so out of the three theorems that we could use, side, 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 angle, angle, and then side, angle, side, the only one that I think would work here would be angle, angle, because I don't have any sides. So I have one set of congruent um, angles that are corresponding, and, and we're good there, but we need to figure out one other set. And if I look at all the corners of my triangles, uh, well, G and uh, D, we don't know if those are going to be congruent or not. But if you look at the top angle of both of our triangles, uh, the top angle for both of them is going to be angle E. For this little triangle here, that has angle E. And then for the big triangle here, that also has angle E. 
So for our statement, we could say that um, angle E is shared in both triangles, and, and that's going to be congruent. So there's my statement down there, and you can see it's kind of goofy. It's angle E is congruent to angle E. Of course, they're going to be the same. Um, but our reason here is that angle E is shared um, between both triangles. Um, so now I have uh, an angle here and an angle there, and then an angle up here and an angle down there. So our triangles are going to be similar. So the last thing I'm going to write down is my statement, and that is going to be my similarity statement, that um, triangle DEF is congruent to, I'm sorry, that should just be similar to uh, triangle GEH. And why is that? Because we proved angle angle, and we use that theory. So um, that's how you do the uh, two-column proof. They're tricky, um, but just kind of work through it. Um, you just come up with a statement, what you think is true, and then why it is true. And then eventually you get to the similarity statement.